Welcome to Daily Conversation. This is Mr. K. This is Eric. Yeah, today is the 29th of November 2021, and the time now is 6.16 a.m. Well, today is a video review, and our topic today is the signs of cells that never get old. Yeah, by Elizabeth Blackburn. Right, so before we get started, please click the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so here we go. Yeah, and uh, firstly, I believe that uh, for both of us, uh, this is not the first time that we heard about the name Elizabeth Blackburn, right? Yeah, we came across her name uh, in the book. Yeah, it to beat disease. And so that uh, the time that I watched the video, um, actually many contents in the uh, in the books uh, actually comes up uh, in the video. Uh, and actually that uh, kind of like uh, um, get me interested yeah, in uh, watching the video. <laughs> yep, and I believe that if I haven't read the book and uh, the first time that I watched this video, maybe I uh, wasn't, uh, I wouldn't be so interested. Yeah, and then um, uh, there are some contents in the book and so that uh, we uh, more or less will be uh, more familiar with uh, something that she mentioned. <laughs> yep, and then uh, yeah, what she mentioned, uh, what she mainly talked about is the, uh, the telomeres. Yeah, uh, telomeres. Uh, and then for this thing, um, yeah, it is, uh, it is something that uh, uh, protect the chromosomes uh, uh, from broken down. Yeah, so uh, this is something very important. And uh, also the video, it uh, she explained that our chromosomes uh, replicate yeah, and then uh, keep replicating, keep doing the same uh, the, the same task, and then, uh, um, however, our telomeres um, uh, will will be shortened. Yeah, along the time over the time, and uh, uh, the sh the shortening of telomeres uh, isn't a good thing. Yeah, because the telomeres is like the protection uh, of our chromosomes. Yeah, and then uh, uh, if our telomeres keep becoming shortened, and then uh, until one day our chromosomes uh, 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 will not replicate, yeah, because uh, uh, our cells will signal that um, uh, this is uh, uh, this is something like uh, already uh, is going to broke to be uh, to become broken, so. Uh, it will not replicate, and uh, in that case, uh, we can see the symptoms of aging. Yeah, for example, uh, wrinkles on our face, and then uh, maybe also the, the aging of our organ is our body. Yeah, and uh, many many just uh, symptoms of aging. Yeah, and the symptoms of aging. Uh, yeah, I think this is not a good thing because. Uh, um, it is like uh, uh, the things getting old, and then uh, uh, also like for example, uh, if our in our our cells of immune system uh, uh, getting old or getting not enough, and uh, yeah, we are exposed to greater risk of getting those diseases. So um, uh, yeah, for uh, uh, for this one, uh, we have something to do. Yeah, we can do something. We can uh, kind of uh, uh, control our t uh, telomeres length. Yeah, uh, even though not hundred percent control, but still has got some uh, controlling power. Yeah, we can do something to influence uh, the the speed uh, the speed of broken down or or the shortening of. Telomeres. Yeah, we want it to uh, 
not to not to become shortened so fast or so easily. And uh, uh, what she uh, uh, highlight is uh, those chronic stress. Uh, and uh, she did some uh, research and then experiment uh, found that uh, the stress is uh, is one of the uh, a very important factor that's affecting our telomeres length. And then, uh, yeah, for the stress, um, also she mentioned uh, the uh, uh, kind of like the attitude. Yeah, so uh, yeah, this is also something we uh, we did talk about right before is whether we treat the stress as uh, as something uh, as something bad or as uh, as a challenge. So uh, uh, this is maybe uh, different. Uh, from people to people. Yeah, and uh, of course, if we can treat it uh, as a challenge and we, we we don't feel so bad when dealing with it, uh, then actually uh, our telomeres uh, are just fine. Uh, they are not maybe affected by the stress so much so that they uh, increase the speed of shortening. And then also some other activities uh, we can do, for example, meditation also uh, being mentioned. So we can see meditation um, in so many ways, right? Uh, in the book, in this video. And uh, yeah, I think this this guy, uh, Elizabeth Blackburn, uh, is someone that uh, can totally be trustable because uh, she was one of the Nobel Prize winner. So uh, she uh, she was the scientist. And uh, so that again, you confirm meditation. Yeah, can uh, also uh, influence the uh, telomeres. Yeah, in a in a positive way. And uh, also after that, uh, it, uh, she also give an example. For example, the uh, the, the home address. Yeah, also uh, also can affect our telomeres. For this one, also um, in our previous topic, we say that uh, uh, you, you share with me uh, some examples from the book, right? Uh, which is like uh, living uh, near to uh, maybe the city and then uh, can affect our longevity. Yeah, so um, yeah, actually, uh, 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 this can be. Can you, uh, can you explain? Uh, uh, can you clarify it? Live, living. Near to cities, we mm. affect our uh, longevity and in positive or negative way. Mm. Yeah. Um. For this one, uh, uh, at, at that day, um, our 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 conversation is like uh, living near to the city, and then uh, 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 uh actually it is a positive thing. Uh, a positive relate. Uh, a positive correlation with our longevity. Um, uh, and living away from the city is uh, negatively correlated with our longevity. Uh, in that case, um, yeah, maybe live. Uh, uh, I think one of the reasons is like uh, living in the big city. Uh, maybe you get, uh, you are more, uh, you feel more safe, and then maybe you have got the uh, like in Malaysia we have got the the security guard, and then. Uh, 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 we maybe we, uh, we we don't have to feel like uh, uh, worried about our neighbor, the neighborhood, and then uh, the safety is kind of like uh, better, and then uh, uh, also living in the city, uh, um, the uh, how to say the uh, 素质, yeah the uh, quality. Um, yeah, I temporarily use this word. Uh, the the quality of the of the of your neighbor is better, and uh, in some places, uh, you can see that the, maybe you. Uh, you is it a standard? Ah, uh, yeah, standard. Yeah, the standard of your neighbors uh, is uh, is better than some uh, some other maybe uh, uh, not so. Uh, some other places that are not so close to the city. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so I think uh, uh, 
these are some example, right? Mm. Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, I <clears throat> I know what you're talking, and you are talking about a book which is a state of symptoms, and I don't remember I did mention living near to cities or near to big cities have this kind of effect. Mm. And oh. uh, what I remember is in the past long time ago, and we have mm. one Monday video review. This is called about. Uh, maybe five things or six or seven things that can affect the longevity or affect your health. And mm -hmm. inside one of these is uh, living <clears throat> in big cities because we have like the pollution, even though like the sound pollution can affect our mental, can affect our stress. And yeah, and also the stress and also in big cities, people is, is not that friendly compared to small cities or compared to hometown, mm. compared to, uh, yeah. So, <clears throat> mm, yeah, okay. Quite, uh, quite opposite, right? <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, sir, I don't, uh, I don't think cities, I don't think small cities, big cities or hometown is a, is a key indicator. Mm. Is what I mean. Because even though you live in hometown, you also can get a safety. In some place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, so um uh for this one uh um yeah maybe we uh uh we maybe we don't use the term city and then home or, or some countryside area. Um just like uh um yeah if we have uh, if we live in a place that uh, that having good neighborhood, having uh, maybe the uh, the safety, and then uh, uh, or maybe less uh, uh, less stress, yeah, maybe uh, uh, not so close to the crowded or noisy street, yeah, maybe um, I think uh, yeah, this is uh, 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 this is positive to. Uh, to today's topic, which is the uh, the the positive type of social life, uh, mm -hmm. which is not so stressful, and then uh, it's also uh, attributable to our telomeres. Yeah, and also talk about marriage, talk about friendship, right? Uh, included in this video, uh, which also bef uh, we we discussed this before. Yeah, so uh, these are the things that we can do. Uh, that uh, to influence our telomeres, and uh, regarding the food, um, I think it is not included in the video. Yeah, but I think uh, it must be uh, one of the ways that we can influence our telomeres, um, and we will be encounter this uh, in the reading session. Yeah, in the future. Mm. Yep, and then. Uh, yeah, also, uh, I like uh, a, a few terms that uh, she, uh, she she mentioned in the video, which is the lifespan. Yeah, this one, we uh, uh, we are quite familiar, lifespan, which is like the longevity. And health span, yeah, this is uh, what I like, which is like uh, uh, the years, yeah, the length of the years that we live uh, without diseases, without the suffering of uh, diseases. And then we live healthily. Uh, we got the energy uh, to enjoy life. Yeah, this is the health span. And then uh, we have got the. Uh, also, she mentioned uh, the other one, which is the opposite, disease span. Yeah, which is the years, the length of the years that uh, we spend, uh, which suffering from diseases. Yeah, and uh, this is also. Uh, uh, related to just now, what we can do to control, uh, to influence our telomeres, uh, because, um, uh, firstly, she talked about the the uh, what's that the the pond scum, yeah, which is uh, 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 one of the things that living uh, on the water in in the in the pond, and then uh, that's uh, creature creature. Uh, 
uh, is kind of like the single cell organism. And then uh, the cell of uh, their cell never get old. Yeah, just like uh, what you put uh, as the topic today, uh, never get old. So it means that they are immortal. Yeah, they never die uh, theoretically. So um, uh, also the scientist is kind, kind of like uh, uh, looking into what happens and uh, whether we can use kind of like uh, some of the te uh, telomerase, yeah, of the pond scum, and then uh, maybe uh, apply it in our maybe uh, supplements, and then so that we can consume, and then we also can uh, prevent our telomeres uh, shorten. Yeah, and then uh, she found that uh, actually for human, it is uh, until today it is still. Uh, uh, not applicable because uh, she mentioned that we are living uh, on the knife edge, yeah, something like that. And then, uh, if our uh, uh, tel telomerase increase and then uh, also increase the risk of us getting cancer, yeah. So um, uh, we we couldn't do that yet, yeah. And but what we can do is like to in to improve our, the quality of our life, which is the health span. Yeah, try to uh, prolong our health span and then at the same time, uh, uh, minimize the disease span. Yeah, so um, yeah, these are uh, what I get from the video today. Mm -hmm. And one thing uh, which is in our doing session about the telomino, uh, uh, terom teromeroids and yeah. the author did mention that uh, we shouldn't take the supplements. Uh, okay, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure whether whether he did mention or not. Uh, uh, yes, but I think, yeah, she did. Uh, I remember <laughs> because yeah. I did a research too. Yeah, and uh, but I remember the 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 black uh, the black burns, which is uh, today's the the. The, the speaker of the tech talk and they mentioned that this is not why to take the supplements the 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 uh the telomerase supplements mm. and and it's on the it's not the methods because our body needs the balance which we um we couldn't have too much uh the telomerase we also cannot have too low and yeah so uh, and also in in the in the book, I'm not sure in this uh, whether this is the remission have passed or whether mm. this is the incoming one about yeah. the your genesis uh, and your genesis. And the author actually mentioned about the 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 angiogenesis uh, which has uh, which have two, which is the uh, angiogenic, and also another is is. Uh, uh, anti uh, anti angiogenic, and then we we body also need a balance. And if we try to get it from supplements, we can't mm. get a balance. But if we try to get it from natural foods, from from the foods to include this in our diet, and then some food can actually help us to balance it. So, mm. in at the same time, it will increase the level of the uh, angiogenic. At at another same time, this is also an anti uh, anti angiogenic food to prevent like, the growth of the turmoils. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so uh, the key thing here, I think, is about um, whether the supplements, the, the usage of supplements, the youth, the youth, the usefulness of the supplements compared to the, compared to the natural foods. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, do, do you mean the uh, kind of like effectiveness or is it mm. comparing effectiveness of supplements and uh okay effectiveness effectiveness is is the terms when you use it has a benefit but you don't know whether uh, the benefit is is bad is greater or or actually smaller okay mm. 
Yeah, this is when you use the effectiveness. So you assume everything will work fine. Uh, mm. There's only one direction, which is positive impact. But mm. usefulness is something um, maybe it's not useful. Not, not useful means that it has negative effectiveness. Harmful, right? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, mm. Mm. Yep, got it. Mm. <clears throat> and yeah, and also in this video, I, uh, yeah, when the when the uh, when the speaker talk about the telomere and he talk about the telomere maintain maintenance mm. and not telomere lengthens, so this means our telomere cannot be lengthened. Yeah, can uh, mm. the the, <clears throat> mm, the length the length of our telomere cannot be increased. Yeah. At least uh, at least in uh, in our current uh, uh, scientific world, yeah, we, we don't have a technology, we don't have a way to increase the length of the telomere. And right now we can only maintain maintain the length of the telomere or reduce the, the, sh uh, the speed of the shortening of the telomere. So this is a very important thing. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> and <clears throat> yeah, uh, the, the speaker also mentioned a lot of things which confirm uh, my belief. Uh, this is the chronic stress. And yeah, actually I want to, I want to I want to mention again, and the chronic stress is not that simple as it, uh, as as we think. And yeah, of course you can treat the stress as a challenge. You can treat your stress in a positive way. But the real chronic stress is something that you can't really deal with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Inherently, by definition, by definition, you can't deal with it. So it causes the chronic stress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and maybe what we talk about it it requires a change of our lifestyle, right? Uh, maybe it could be one of reasons. I give you one example, which is mm. try to imagine your salary, your salary cut from, uh, maybe cut half. But, uh, how do you live? But, but okay, but, but here is, you still need to work the same, uh, same amount of time in order mm. to get the same amount of money, uh, in order to get half of the money. Mm. Some of the people experience that in COVID nineteen, yeah, they 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 work as an employee, and then their company suffering, and then cut their salary. Some mm. cut half, some cut a few hundreds. Also, yeah. also a huge percentage, thirty percent or or twenty five percent, and yeah, and they still need to work the same amount of time in order to get the. Uh, in order to get the same, in order to get the money, to get lesser money, they need to, or, or maybe, or another, another, uh, another way to say is you need to work harder in order to get the same amount of money. Mm. And you need to work harder and harder and harder and harder, and then you don't have time to live for yourself. Yep. Maybe to exercise, you don't have energy to do that. And if you have a family, your time will be lesser because you need to spend some time uh, uh, in, in your family. Yeah. And yeah. So this is this is a reason. And and this is the this is so called the chronic stress. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think the chronic stress is you you have you uh, you are high income level and then uh, your career, yeah, your career, your boss did give you stress, but you, but you keep trying to overcome it. You keep trying, uh, to cross the obstacle you face, and then, and then you keep improving, keep improving, keep improving, and then your income keep increasing, keep increasing, keep increasing. I don't think this is a chronic stress. Yeah. Mm, yeah, but I think stress is kind of. Uh, subjective, right? Yeah, it's subjective. Uh, but but okay, but but try to imagine if you need to work uh the same amount of time. Mm, yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Hours. That is 
that is more stressful comparing to uh, uh, just now that one. Yeah, and whether you can deal with it and your life, uh, your life quality mm. uh, must be reduced. Yeah. And not many people have the uh, uh, have the ability to <clears throat> to kind of like go back to the original stage or improve the state. Mm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So, okay, in my opinion, the chronic stress is not that simple. Uh, stress have deep. Uh, there are different type of stress. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And also try to imagine whether okay try to imagine if you if you couldn't work for six months for one year you just couldn't work can you survive how do you survive mm, yeah it's a it's a big problem one year is very long yeah how about you i think uh uh you will face no problem because your family can take care of uh, <laughs> you right yeah, so yeah, this yeah. is also one of the reasons some people just don't have that resources. Some people don't have that facility or don't have mm. that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. And also some some uh uh some people some people are in the in the worst scenario, which is if they don't work, their family will die. Mm. Yeah. 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 So <clears throat> can you try to figure out whether whether the stress, yeah, is the same level of stress. It's not, you know, even though they work at this, even though they work the same job, even though they face the same boss, even though mm. the boss is objectively treat them completely similarly, but the stress mm. comes to your body, the stress comes to your mind is different. Yeah, yeah. This uh, is not uh, mm. yeah, it is like the hierarchy hierarchy of needs, right? Uh, they are the stress coming from uh, maybe the bottom of the the pyramid. So uh, it is more concerning to maybe survival uh, to to that person. Mm, I don't think hierarchy needs is well explained in this case because if a person come from a wealthy family, if they lose mm. their job, that is also job security. Yeah, and. Yeah, if they lose their job, they couldn't afford to buy food. It's also the the uh, the physiology needs, but they don't need that because they are, they have the backbone from their family. Mm. But another person don't have that, so this is a life or death problem. This is not this is not the it's not the shame, it's not the shame problem, it's not the face problem in Chinese mm. call. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you will feel embarrassing uh, if you need to ask money from your family, but you won't die. But yeah. another person will die. Their family member will die. The stress is just different. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so uh, in my opinion, in, in my very humble opinion, when you talk about treat the stress as a challenge in a positive way, you need to understand what you are talking. You need to aware that what mm. what type of stress you are talking. Yeah. yeah. And also, some people are in the depressions. Yeah, this is a disease. This is a mental disease. And don't think that it is very easy mm. to, yeah. to to overcome. Yeah, this is not this is not easy things. And the, yeah, they they face a lot of problems to deal with it. Yeah, and okay, and, and the next is the negative moods. Yeah, negative moods uh, is also is also similar to the chronic stress. Yeah, and yeah, and and speaker give a very good example. Uh, let's say, for, for example, every time your boss uh, uh, asking you, every time your boss uh, asking you to to go into their office, go into their room, and then you're you're thinking, oh, I must did some mistake, so mm. I'm 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 uh, I'm gonna get <laughs> I'm gonna get fired, so mm. it's something like that. So 
yeah, I actually I actually have uh, have this kind of feeling in the past. Yeah, and it's uh the company is good, okay. Uh and the and the management and the system is also good, but I just can't feel uh happy in that job and also uh yeah ju just stress yeah uh but it is not too stress because i don't need to work overtime okay and then mm. yeah and the income is is quite good the income lab, uh, the income the company provide me is quite good and uh, i also learned a lot of things yeah and but i need to always i mean always be cautious yeah, always cautious, always like uh, nervous, and mm. and need to care everything I'm doing. Yeah, need to keep thinking it. So, um, yeah, I think uh, it's also one uh, one type of the chronic stress. Yeah, but, but of course this is not the it's not the extreme one. Mm. Uh, like the example we mentioned just now. Yeah. Uh, like for that. Yeah, but. Um, you can solve it or not. Maybe yes, maybe no. Yeah. You can try to solve it, but can you try to solve it in long term? Mm, yeah. Yeah. This is a problem. You can you you can you can try to think this is uh you can try to think in positive way. Yeah. You can keep telling yourself. Hmm. But uh, what what you receive from the outside keep reinforce your stress. Mm. Yeah. You, your, you believe that this is a stress, this is a stress, mm, and you oh. keep and and from the in and from the internal, uh, state. You keep telling yourself, you keep you keep try to change your belief. Mm. You are not stressed. You are not stressed. You are not stressed. This is a challenge. This is a challenge. This is a challenge. And you look at the ABC model. Mm, yeah, your maybe your connections. The condition is is a stress, and then you try to change your attitude, and then how you act. Yeah, maybe you 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 always be cautious, and then this is like, uh, uh, this this not an effective way to change, and mm. also not sure whether, uh, whether you can change it or not. Yeah. 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 The mm. behavior and the cognition contract right they go they're going mm. opposite direction <clears throat> yeah and sometimes when uh when you really make a mistake <laughs> yeah then uh, they will have the the real stress coming from outside right mm. yeah uh coming from outside and also also coming from your inside <laughs> yeah. yeah because you keep telling yourself it's a challenge it's a challenge but when you did really make a mistake and then it's not a challenge anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yeah so this is a negative mood and mm. the next one the author mentioned uh sorry uh the, the speaker mentioned is 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 the is the neighborhood it's a stand of neighborhood is the whether you have uh whether in the society you you have the uh, you have the good relationship. You have the lifelong, a uh, life lifelong friendship. You have the good marriage relationship, and also here, the speaker actually mentioned the lifelong friendship, and also mentioned the uh the uh, the good uh, uh common uh a common things or something like that, which is a a strong a strong marriage relationship, <clears throat> and. And uh, to be aware, which is, uh, <clears throat> if you have the if you have the mar if if you if you are married, okay, but you always in a stress, uh, mood, always in a stress, uh, state because of your partner. This is not a good thing. Yeah, mm. it's not a good thing, and it won't like maintain your telomere just because you get married. Mm, it's, yeah. it's a thing. yeah so yeah uh you need good relationship this is a key point and mm. marriage or not uh make friends a lot of friends or a few number of friends is not the key point yeah 
you need to have good relationship. You need to constantly maintain the relationship so that it can become good. Yeah. Or maybe mm-hmm. you need to take actions to to avoid the bad relationship, to cut, to cut it, to end the relation, to end the bad relationship. Yeah. And also you need to spend time, spend effort so you can cultivate, you can you can maintain the friendship from short terms to long term to lifelong. Yeah. It mm. requires your effort. It also requires the counterparty effort. Yeah. 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 And if you yeah if, if you if you have if you have a friend or if you have an enemy, yeah, lifelong enemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And <clears throat> it's not friend. <clears throat> yeah. And some people say I recognize one 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 guys and yeah, it's just a lifelong enemy. <laughs> some uh, some people will have this <clears throat> uh, will have this experience, and mm. and why did why why don't they just end the end the relationship? Why they uh, still want to maintain the relationship? Yeah, and mm. yeah, funny. <laughs> yeah, and also the yeah you. Uh, it also, uh, the speaker also mentioned the meditation, also mentioned the exercise. Yeah, it is some way to relax yourself, and it mm. actually uh, reinforced my belief, which is the the uh, the the belief come from the say the symptoms, yeah, the social participations, and also the control, the control over your life, over your job, over your finance. Over your family and over your friend, uh, your, your your friendship, yeah, it is important. Yeah, and it also affects your longevity. And mm-hmm. here we, we found that actually, uh, yeah. So so from a statistic from a statistical point of view, and also from a biology, uh, point of view, or from the DNA point of view, from a gene point of view, it makes sense. Yeah. So we have the reasons, which is is it because of our chromosome, is because of telomere, and if you have the chronic stress, it can really uh, uh, shortens your telomere uh, earlier. Yeah. So that we also have the statistic, which is some people are in the low social participation uh, place, and also they don't have much control over. Their life, mm. their longevity is, uh, is much, uh, is much uh, shorter than other people. Even though they have clean, they have clean water, they have, they have food. Yeah, they could go. They, they, they can go to the supermarket to buy food, to buy grocery. Yeah, they are they are living in cities. They are not living in the poverty. Mm. Mm. But it's. But it still affects their life. It still affects their longevity, and not only longevity and also all kind of disease. Yeah, mm. all type of disease, including accidents. Yeah, including suicide. Mm. Yeah, and also uh one uh, one last thing I want to mention, which is uh the all uh, the the speaker also mentioned that if some child. If some if some child that experience uh terrible things, they have the terrible experience in their childhood, mm. it actually has a long term impact on the length of their telomere. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So so this is all the thing. And mm. so, uh it actually made me wonder uh uh whether uh, whether diet can, yeah, uh, okay, uh, I believe, I believe a good diet can, can change it, uh, uh sorry, uh, not change it, but maintain it, mm. and yeah. maintain it, okay. oh, yeah, and, but is it, but, but is this, uh, the factors, the factors of, uh, of the, of the telomere shortening, is made uh, is uh, is majorly 
largely come from the diets or come from the lifestyle, or come from the experience and the stress. Yeah, so this is a important thing to know. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so uh, this is my talking. Hmm. Yeah, just now uh, uh, you, so you talk about that the child, uh, there, if they are experiencing some uh, uh, bad things when they were young, um, yeah, I believe that that is uh, very terrible because uh, they're young and their telomeres are supposed to be longer, right? Uh, uh, supposed to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, we, we know that the telomeres are uh, basically they are just uh, keep shortening uh, <laughs> until we die. So when they were young and they experienced this, uh, that is something irre uh, irreversible. And yeah, and uh, maybe it will become something that uh, reinforce. Yeah, maybe the, the bad experience become a stigma to this guy. And then uh, he... Uh, he couldn't get out of this maybe experience maybe uh, until uh, uh, he become maybe uh, he get he, he grow until he grow up so uh, yeah the effect is uh, yeah really big mm. Mm. yeah and also one of my uh, mother's friends uh, who complains that uh, she had a bad neighbor <laughs> and. Uh, the uh, also few few weeks ago she uh, had an argument with the neighbors yeah and then uh, it's a big one or a small one and after that day uh, the neighbor keep doing something that annoy her for example loud music and then uh, the neighbor got dogs and then uh, she let the dogs maybe poo or, or pee in front of her house and then uh, also uh, park their car in front of uh in front of uh their own house but kind of like blocking blocking you uh, not uh make you not so uh easily come in and out from from your house so keep doing these kind of things so i think that is uh something really bad because you have to face them every day uh you worry about what she will do to you one day yeah so uh, yeah, that is the the, the problem of neighborhood. Yeah, it also could it also could uh could uh could be treated as the chronic stress, you know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. All right, and oh, also uh one thing, um, so in in this case, uh, does it means that if <clears throat> if you have the chance to, uh, let's say buy a second hand house, uh, it is also good to trying to uh to see who's your neighbor first right uh, yeah. Neighborhood. Mm. yeah if you yeah. can if uh, uh of course maybe uh, they're not the permanent neighbors but uh at least you can you can try to to see who is living around this mm. house and uh how about the, the the relationship of this neighborhood yeah yeah and uh recently i i read a book which is a chinese book this is uh in Chinese, it's called the uh, Gou Tong Fang Fa, and also in English translate, this is the communication method. And in mm. and in this book, the author mentioned about, uh, yeah, uh, there's one quote, there's one quote which is very very motivating or very impress, uh, impre uh, impressive, and it's called, um, uh, uh, okay, uh, not. Uh, not every problem has the solutions. Okay, not every problem has the solutions, has the answer. But mm. there's nothing, there's there's nothing that couldn't couldn't be, uh, couldn't be, uh. Mm, Okay. Uh, uh. Okay. Uh, uh. Let me rephrase. Okay. Mm. Um. Not. Uh. Not every problem. 
not every problem have the oh, sorry, uh, when you face a problem when you face a problem you you may not you may not have the solution at the current moment okay but you can use communications to deal with it to to try to uh to try to uh, to try to solve the relationship problem through communications. Yeah. Mm. So it is something like uh, we have a lot of problems. Some of is uh, some problem is unsolvable. Some problem is solvable. Mm. Yeah, but you can use communications. You can use communication to uh, to try to uh, to try to not solve it. Okay, not solve it. But you can mm. use communication to negotiate and then to maybe re not, uh, renegotiate the terms and then <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> so that uh, it can help you it can help you even though the problem is still unsolvable yeah uh, mm. yeah uh, the, the key point the key point is not that the communication is uh, is is uh, is like better than the solutions you so you just need to talk you don't need to take action it's not the key point mm. the key point have two which is the first one is when you face a relationship problem and you can always use communications to deal with it yeah, yeah. yeah. and the second is you need to have this kind of fate yeah otherwise you uh, you uh, you won't try to communicate, so the problem was getting worse and worse. Um, yeah. Sorry, a second point. Uh, we need to have need, this kind of what? You need to have this kind of faith, which is communication can solve the relationship problem. Uh -oh. mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, uh, in this case, uh, since you couldn't move your house, yeah, you couldn't move your house, and I think maybe in order in order to stop these kind of things, uh, uh, the person who who uh who get who, who get trouble need to try to use communication to solve <laughs> it. Yeah, um, yeah, you know why I laugh because uh, uh, this this guy, my mother's friend, uh, she. Uh, she is actually uh, uh, I I don't know the term. Uh, uh she's from Thailand, uh, but she, uh, uh, she comes to Malaysia and uh get married with with his uh, with her husband, and then uh so that uh she actually couldn't speak Malay, uh, but she could speak a little bit uh Chinese. Yeah, she speak Chinese quite okay, and. Uh, the uh, actually that day she had an argument with her neighbor, and uh, the neighbor is an Indian. <laughs> the neighbor, uh, of course, she used uh, uh, the BM language, or maybe English. And this, uh, my mother's friend, actually know they are uh, like um, scolding. They, they are scolding each others, but uh, in different language. So. Yeah. Uh, maybe for her, she she could also uh, get help from other friends trying to uh, help to communicate between between them, right? Get someone and also, in. And also, you have translator. Mm, you yeah. have Google Translate in your phones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need to find a good communications method to, to to do it. You need to use the correct communications to mm. or use the yeah. or, or use the correct sentence or use the uh, maybe not correct sentence, but appropriate sentence to mm. to express your feeling, to trying to bring out what you want to say. And yeah. Yeah, if this is a language problem, use the same language first. Otherwise, you can't communicate. <laughs> and you use the same yeah. language. After that, you also need to try. You don't need to think how to communicate. Mm. Yeah. And I, I think this is also a very good example to uh, to what you shared with me just now, like uh, sometimes we
couldn't solve the problem, we couldn't get a solution, but uh, communication is a way, right, to mm. solve these yeah. things. Like them, if they can uh, communicate well and then uh, they can make up uh, again, uh, which is like be friendly, uh, like Uzo, like before, then they don't have to move, right? They don't need to. Mm. Uh, to do anything, uh, it is a win-win situation. But yeah, yeah. communication is uh, is kind of like uh, you you really need to uh, take action. Also, like put down your pride, something like that. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, anything want to add in? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. So that's all for today's conversations. How do you feel? Did you enjoy the conversations? Please tell us what you think of our conversation. And we are not making speakers if you found any vocabulary mistake we made. Please also comment to let us know because we want to learn more and improve ourselves. Remember to let us subscribe to us. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.